Hey there, fourth graders. We're going to continue with our Microsoft Word project, our friendship uh, cards. And remember, to get the fourth grade drive, you'll have to go to Start. You go and go to Computer. And Miss N's drive is the H drive, but your, job, your drive will say Grade 4, as you can see up at the top here. So I'm here, and I'm going to go back to Hofflin. And Miss Tabalski has her own spot. But then I'm going to go to Friendship Cards and Izzy. And I have my cards because I started working on yesterday. And so think about what we did yesterday, and if you need to review that, um, I'm going to change the size so we can see it a little bit better as a whole piece. Um, if you need to review any of this, um, go back, pause the recording, go back to the other one. Uh, we inserted pictures yesterday, and remember, you've done a lot of picture saving in the past. And remember, we have our website, and if you go to Team Nabalski and you scroll down, to friendship cards um, there's that kid search that I really really like and remember it doesn't have to show kids you can also show like um, you could also do Green Bay Packers players maybe you want to say something about friendship and but you want to have it more of a sportsy theme and then you click on images and so let's see um, Here they're kind of like all together. And so I could even right click and I can save image as. And of course, I could go back to my uh, fourth grade drive, which Mr. Bosk has to go the other way, remember, which is kind of a pain. But anyway, grade four, which it, yours is easier to get to, I could do it this way too and save my pictures under. Um, because I'm Izzy, now I'm going to say Packers. So there's my picture. I could do it like that and then go back to my document and do insert picture. And then I would have to go back to my H drive and I see Izzy here. And there's my Packers insert. And remember, once again, you can always make this a lot smaller, which you're going to have to because you can see it's, you know, um, it's bigger than what it should and it's hiding behind this other text box which I think in Word using a text box is much easier so um, I would just like put this into a text box insert picture and it goes right back to your Packers oh I'm surprised it wouldn't go in there oh it's just too big that's why now I just make it smaller okay otherwise I can also cut and paste most computers just do a copy image and I'm able to paste it and then I can make it a little bit smaller okay now let's go back to now to uh, the website where it talks about finding quotes and what Ms. Zabowski did is she found a few websites that are really good for kids although Ms. Zabowski sees that a couple of her links are not working here well let's look at the first one and what we want you to do, remember what a quote is. A quote is just like a saying that people relate to and they use it a lot. And it talks about a particular theme like friendship, honesty, never giving up, um, things like that. So what we want you to do is read through some of these. If you have a hard time reading them, then you'll need to ask someone. But what you're going to do is you're going to pick out a, uh, a quote that really is special to you. Um, so you're going to scroll through, you know, every gift from a friend is a wish for your happiness. Okay. So, you know, maybe I really like that one. And most of the time they do have somebody that somebody famous that came up with that quote. And what I can do is I can just actually highlight this and I can right click and copy and I can go back and paste it somewhere. And you notice how it kind of like had all this other stuff. What I can just do is highlight and delete that off. See how that changed that? Um, so you need to have that quote there. All right. So what I did was, once again, I found a quote I like. Is In a friend, you, you find a second self. Oh, I like that. That's good, too. Right click, copy, or I can do control C um, on the keyboard, control C, and then I can right click and paste it. And then I see there's junk I don't want. And I'm going to, oops, get rid of that carefully. I'm just going to delete it. Okay. Now, I could put that in its own box. And remember, I could make my Valentine's, you know, a little bit different shape. 
okay um, also um, perhaps I want to get rid of that picture and I keep that one and also I might want to fix my border around there okay so once you decide like you know what I have the the quote that I really like and that is meaningful and I just did some copy and paste I found the quote um, now I might want to change this picture up a bit so maybe I move it maybe I want to make it bigger and that's also what you can do and what's the cool thing is I can double click on this frame and what happens is when you double click on that frame all these choices come out so I can like have it filled in the background like maybe I want to like kind of you know kind of change oops change it up a little bit and I want to make it you know I don't know um, I can double click back on it and maybe I want to do the outline like maybe I want then green for an outline but look at this I can change the weight of the line like I can make it really thick okay then what I might want to do to really jazz up my quote is I'm going to highlight just the words and maybe I want to change the font I want to really like set it off so and remember oops oops this Balski kind of went too far hang on a second okay when that happens you just do undo so maybe I want to do that I might also want to fill in um, the uh, background here so I go to design and I might want to put in some shading like maybe I want to do some lighter green to kind of offset it okay and maybe in this one I want to do some more shading do you see how I did that um, so all I want is here and then I clicked on design went to shading clicked in the box see where my cursor is I'm gonna shade there so I might want to also um, make this part um, I can go home maybe I want it in the center I want it centered maybe I want it a little bit bigger maybe I want to change the color to blue okay so remember this is your um, this is going to be your quote now you notice that there's a white background well that happens because when you cut and paste from the internet sometimes that happens so you might want to actually retype your quote and then go ahead and then make all your changes okay so this is the end of this particular video um, we changed some fonts we put in reminded ourselves about a picture we found the quotes and whatnot um, and this here ends